Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. By popular request, I've come up with a whole new line of stinking cute new merchandise in different styles and colors. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. So what do I have going on for today? Today I am bringing to you a non-Dollar Tree DIY as I get so many requests for non-Dollar Tree DIYs because there are some of you who just simply don't have access to a Dollar Tree or don't get the same items at your Dollar Tree that I get in mine but you have a Walmart, a Michaels, and a Joann's near you and you would like to see more budget-friendly DIYs using items from these stores. And so that's what I'm bringing to you today. I am bringing to you a DIY using items that I found at Michaels. Dollar items that are in their dollar to three dollar bins that you can get over by the cash register. Today's DIY is in the barn farmhouse style and it is so budget friendly. So let's jump into it. Let me show you what all I picked up from Michaels for this farmhouse DIY. At Michaels, I picked up these cardboard letters that you can find in the dollar bins. I also picked up this ceramic ampersand symbol, better known as an and symbol. I'll also be using some apple barrel paint in the color of barn red and some Waverly chalk paint in the color of ivory. And because I have it on hand, I will be adding some of this folk art crackle medium. I'm gonna start off by taking my apple barrel paint in the color of barn red, and I'm gonna give these cardboard letters a real nice base coat with this paint. Using my Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory, I'm gonna put a nice base coat on my ceramic and symbol. Now, if you wanna use apple barrel paint for this, you can. I don't have an ivory or cream apple barrel paint on hand. I have a lot of Waverly chalk paint, so that's what I'm using. Apple barrel paint is a great alternative and you can find it at Walmart for 50 cents a bottle. Once my letters are dry, Taking my folk art crackle medium, this step is completely optional. If you don't like that weathered crackled look, then skip this step. I'm gonna place a nice coat of this crackle medium over the barn red that I just put on these cardboard letters. It's a nice day outside. I'm gonna set these outside to speed up the drying process. Now I'm gonna take and place some of the crackle medium over my ceramic symbol as well. And here's a fun quick tip. When I'm painting letters such as these, I like to use Dollar Tree's plastic cutting mats. They come in a two pack for a dollar. It is such an easy cleanup when you paint on top of these. You don't have to worry about messing up your craft table and you can easily rinse off these mats. Now I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint in the color of ivory and on my barn red letters, I'm gonna do a quick coat of this chalk paint over the top of the crackle medium that I put on this. Now I'm only gonna do one coat. I don't wanna go over this too many times because it will ruin the effect of the crackle medium. So you wanna do just a quick coat. You're not looking for perfection because it's just gonna add to that age distressed weathered look. And you can see as you paint it, that crackled weathered look appears pretty quickly. And with the ceramic and symbol, I decided to do it the opposite colors of my letters. So now I will be taking my apple barrel paint in the color of barn red and doing a light coat over the crackle medium as well. I tell you, I have had so many requests from you all to do that barn farmhouse look using the reds and whites and creams. And so that was my inspiration behind this DIY. For this next step, the footage either got deleted or the camera stopped recording. Thank goodness I got extra letters. So I will be showing you this next step on this letter D. Taking a makeup sponge, I'm gonna take the barn red and just kind of dab along the edges. And once it's dried, taking a very fine grade sandpaper, 
I'm lightly going to sand over what I just did on the edges with my makeup sponge. And you will see how just lightly sanding it lightens it up and gives it an aged, old, distressed look. Super easy to do, doesn't take a lot of time, and yet the outcome is so farmhouse, so barnyard looking, it is amazing. I love the look of this barnyard color and the ivory mixed together. And to wipe off that dust from sanding, I'm gonna take a paper towel that I barely wet and just wipe down the letter just a bit to get that dust off of it. I love the way these letters turned out. Stinking amazing. And for the and sign, I didn't add any additional paint along the edges. I just took my sandpaper and sanded along the edges. There you have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you subscribers who challenged me and requested to do this farmhouse barnyard style look. I love the way this turned out. And I definitely, when doing this project, wanted to go with that elevated ceramic and symbol because I wanted to add some depth to this. And I think it does just that. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can keep to them in an upcoming video. Shout outs going out to Heather, Wendy Odell, Ava Beck, Carol Thomas, Helen Pena, and Brenda Boyles. This barn farmhouse DIY is so chic and so farmhouse. I absolutely love it and I gotta tell ya, I think that my new favorite style is this red and white barn farmhouse style. I am loving it and I want more of it. And like I said the last time I did one of these DIYs, I definitely have a lot of ideas that are going through my head. The gears are turning and I am excited to bring them to you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because it really does help my channel to grow those thumbs up and it helps YouTube to recognize my channel just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.